guys, it's your girl T. So I want to come on here with a really sad and disturbing story. It's about a 19 year old girl. Her name is Frazania Thompson. And basically she's an aspiring model. And she's also an expectant mother. She had just found out two weeks before this accident she was expecting a child with her 25 year old fiance. So what went down is that basically uh, Fred Zania, she goes by the name Zany. She was on a railroad track down in Texas and basically she was standing on the railroad tracks, posing and everything else. And all of a sudden a train came out the blue and um, she tried to jump the track and go on to the other side of the track. But another train was coming from the other side of the track and she ended up getting hit and killed. This entire situation is just really, really sad and disturbing. Go ahead and check out this news clip and I'm gonna come back with the rest of my commentary. Along the train tracks in Napa, Soda, a bright memorial stands in honor of Fred Zania Thompson, better known to friends and family as Zany. Sunday, Sambria Glover added black balloons, the exact balloons she says Zany was holding in the photo shoot. Um, I've made all of this, actually, the sign and everything. Um, so yeah, I just want to add to her and show her that we love her and will forever miss her. Glover said Zany was more than a cousin to her. She was her best friend and teammate. So picking her favorite photos, the one with the horse and the band across the water, was easy. It was Zany's dream to model. Two volleyballs sit underneath her photos, both with countless signatures and words of grief and support. At five foot eleven, Glover says Zany was a force on the volleyball team. Isn't she stunning? Like, look at her volleyball picture. Zany was 19 years old. She would have turned 20 on Monday. Everyone knew the real Zany. You know, like I said, she very free spirited, just goofy. Everyone loved her. She never met a stranger. She was just, just very friendly and sweet. Glover says the Blinn College student was engaged to be married and was just beginning to build a future. It's it's tough, but God makes no mistakes. You know, it was just her time. But yeah, she will be truly missed. In Navasota, Abby Knight, News 3. Family and friends of Fredzania Thompson, who was hit and killed by a train last week, gathered in Navasota tonight to celebrate her life. News 3's Jessica Grunling spoke with family members on the lives she touched. She always lightened the situation. I'm going, I'm going to miss her, though. I really am. As family and friends of Zany Thompson gathered with balloons and lit candles, they shared memories. We would be playing at my granny house, and of course, well, we was playing hide and seek in her house one time, and we had on our shoes, and we had got in her tub and left, you know, dirt and whatnot in the tub, and we got in trouble about it. And remembered the girl with the infectious personality. She always had a smile about it that everybody just seemed to remember. She was always happy never upset. She would give you her last if she could. She was always trying to be the helper. That's what I used to call her because um, she was always trying to help people. Darnell Chapman was Thompson's fiance. The night's gathering was to pay respects to the woman he says brought out the best in him. A wonderful young lady. I'm fun, outgoing. I'm more of a, you know, try to stay focused type of guy. You know, not I joke around, but she always seemed to brought you know the the best out of me. Um, you know, she always wanted to when I was down, she'd do anything to try to cheer me up. And I mean, same thing for her. You know, if she was down, you know, I was there for her. Um, so it's, it's tough. Monday Thompson would have been 20 years old. The showing from the community exemplified how many lives she touched. <laughs> Navasota, Jessica Grunling, News 3. Right, so you guys just saw that news clip. You know, this whole situation is really sad, and a lot of folks are just like, you know, how does a train sneak up on you? This makes no sense. You know, how did her or the photographer not see the trains coming long before this? And I honestly feel like the reason why she was on the track that long to the point where the train could hit her is that they were probably trying to get the shot with maybe the train in the background, but not realizing that trains go so fast this was a very tragic accident that could have definitely been prevented. You know, this whole situation is just sad, but things like this are not worth your life. You know, I remember there was another case a few months ago. It had to do with some parents out in Wisconsin. They had started receiving death threats because what happened is that basically this mother wanted to do a Father's Day photo shoot on the train track. 
um, with her baby and her son, and they were dressed like Batman and Robin. And they literally placed this baby on a railroad track. They thought this was okay. They posted pictures on social media. It went viral and folks went <laughs> off on them. Good morning, George. This is one of those cautionary tales in the era of social media. A family photo shoot celebrating their love of a superhero that has landed this family in some very hot water, including a police investigation and death threats. A Father's Day photo shoot gone horribly wrong. Father and 15-month-old son dressed as the dynamic duo. The damsel in distress is mom tied to the railroad tracks. When these fans of the Cape Crusader posted these photos to Facebook, the photos went viral. It was just pure disbelief. Uh, I was just, it's kind of this surreal feeling. And the Batlash began. Holy rainbow. We had a lot of nice comments initially. And then another host of comments that were, you know, we should have our son taken away from us. Those train tracks in rural Wisconsin are real. I did ask if the train still ran on that track, and I was told that it didn't. Many took the family to task for putting themselves and their son in jeopardy. Since 2012, 900 people have been killed or injured trespassing on railroad tracks. Among them, Bravo star Greg Plitt killed filming on tracks in California last January. But the critics didn't just chastise the Daly family. One posted their address online and threatened to kill them. I was terrified and I told them, you know, we need to sleep in a hotel um, because I was so scared. I really thought that someone was going to come and show up at our house. The local sheriff gave the family a warning. The chair of the National Transportation Safety Board issued a statement noting that train tracks are private property and are dangerous places where trains kill and injure hundreds of people every year. Knowing what we know now that it was illegal, we wouldn't, I don't think we would do it again. Next year, they may dress up Batman. like Batman again, but probably Batman. they'll stay closer to the Batcave. The dailies say that they have learned their lesson. They do plan to do a Batman shoot every year, but no more train tracks. George. I hope these parents realize that trains are real. You know what I'm saying? And unless it's an abandon where there has been no trains going on these railroad tracks for years, you have no business on a railroad track because these trains can come at any time. And for this mother to put her baby on a train track was very, very irresponsible. I'm not going to send about death threats. I don't have that much time on my damn hands. But I very much was very angry when I saw that picture of that baby on the railroad track. You know, and I've done photo shoots when I was modeling before. I've done photo shoots in train cars and on railroad tracks. But where we shot... It was abandoned. Like these train cars, the railroad track has not been used in years in Minneapolis. So we found a safe location. We got some really, really cool shots. You have to be smart about it. You cannot just go and take pictures on a live railroad track because, again, you never know when that train might be coming. She has on heels. Maybe her foot got caught. She wasn't able to move fast enough. It's really, really sad that the last photos of her are these pictures that they have on the railroad track. And now this young girl is gone. She was also pregnant, so this baby is gone as well. The whole situation is just really tragic. RIP to her. She seemed like she was a really good girl. She had a lot of friends and family. Her fiancé spoke very well of her. So hopefully her family will find some peace. But I hope people learn from this situation and realize that train tracks, especially live train tracks, that trains still go across on a daily basis are very unpredictable and people need to be very, very careful and do not do photo shoots on train tracks that are live. You have to find abandoned train tracks to get these cool shots that people are doing. And I'm thinking that people are not realizing that there's a difference, but this story proves that there's a big dang on difference. And I hope that mother in Wisconsin realizes how lucky she was that her, her husband and her baby were not killed out there doing that photo shoot. So anyways, y'all, let's go ahead and get the discussion popping. Go ahead and leave a comment. Let me know your thoughts on this entire sad story coming from Triflin, Texas, about this aspiring model, um, Zania Thompson. How do you guys feel about this situation? And do you agree with me that they were possibly trying to get the last shot? That's why it took her so long to get off the train tracks because I'm sure they would have heard those trains coming, you know what I'm saying, for at least a mile away. And then last but not least, how do you feel about the mother who her husband and her and the baby were posed on the train tracks and then had the nerve to get mad when social media went off on them. So let's go ahead and get the discussion popping. Go ahead and leave a comment. All right, deuces.
Hey you guys, it's your girl T. Make sure to subscribe, like, and share my videos. You can also visit lovelytea.com to purchase any merchandise. Also, don't forget to click the boxes down below to watch any of my previous videos. Talk to y'all later. Deuces.